In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome freeze frame character introduction right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you've got some footage inside of Adobe After Effects, I'm just going to use one of the intros that I've filmed for a previous video. But once you've got your footage inside of Adobe After Effects, you first want to decide where you're going to do this introduction effect. So just scroll through and find a point where you want to do the freeze frame. So I'm going to do it around here. So at this point here, you just want to go ahead, select the video, we'll hold Command, Shift and D just to add a freeze hold section here. Then you want to go one frame over to the right. We're going to do that one more time. Command, Shift, D. We'll go to the second video. We'll go right click, time, freeze frame. So that is going to freeze this middle section. And then we'll just pull this video on the right all the way over. And we'll drag this freeze frame layer over to the right. So we'll extend this out to the right. So essentially what we've done is we waited for a few seconds. We freeze frame. It's going to hold there for a few seconds and then back into video. So this is where we're going to do the character introduction. So to begin with, we're first just going to start by isolating the subject and the background. So we'll go Command C, Command V to copy that into its own layer. We can rename this to background. So go to rename background and we'll rename this as subject. That's just so we don't get confused. And then of course, if you wanted to color the freeze frame layers, then you can just select this box and select a color of your choice. So the yellow is the freeze frame layer. So we'll go to the subject layer. We'll go up to the pen tool on the top of After Effects. And then we're just going to draw a mask around the subject. Now, of course, you can see I've got this microphone in front of me. I've also got a few things interacting with me in the foreground. So rather than draw it in a mask just around myself, I'm also going to draw it around the desk, the computer, the microphone and the camera in the foreground. So this whole foreground area is going to move forward in space on its own. So we'll go to the bottom left and we're just going to draw a mask around everything in the foreground. Now I'm just going to do an extremely rushed job of this just for the sake of this tutorial. But when you're doing this to your own projects and to your own footage, then the cleaner you can do this, the cleaner the results are going to be afterwards. So spend some time to really make this look nice and professional and clean. And I promise you, you won't regret it because it's going to look really awesome. But like I said, this is just going to be a rush job on my behalf just to show you the technique. And there you go. If we isolate this layer on its own, so we just select the isolate button, you can see this is now its own layer. So this is going to move independently from the background. So from here, we're just going to go into effects and preset and we'll search for tint. So that is T-I-N-T. We'll drop that onto the background layer. And as you can see, that has made the background black and white. Now you can leave this at black and white if you wanted to leave this at black and white, or you can add some colors. I'm going to add some colors. So we'll add a splash of purple onto the blacks and then we'll go onto the whites and we'll add a little bit of yellow. And as you can see, we've got this duotone effect happening on the background. And of course, you want this to slowly come into this rather than just harshly cutting into this. If this is the effect that you're going for, you just want this harsh jump into this color, then that's fine. But I want to transition into it. So We'll go to the very beginning of that clip. We'll pull the amount to tint down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe there by clicking the stopwatch icon. We'll move over to the right, pull this up to 100%. Then we'll go to the very end of the clip and pull this back down to zero. And then we'll go back on ourselves again and we'll pull this up to 100%. So if we play this back, that is now going to fade in. Hold for a second and then fade out again. Now from here, we can go ahead and add a little bit of camera movement onto the foreground layer to help to make this really dynamic. So we'll go into the subject layer, go into transform, we'll go to the very beginning of this clip here, and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position, scale, and rotation. Then we'll go to the very end of that clip, and we'll also create another keyframe on the position, scale, and rotation. Now we'll go towards the middle of that clip, so somewhere around here, We'll increase the scale only to around 106. We'll add a little bit of rotation, just a little bit. 
And then of course you're more than welcome to adjust the position if you wanted to adjust the position. But if we play this back, you'll see we've got this really awesome effect coming in and out. And if we select all of those keyframes, right click on one of those keyframes, keyframe assistant and select easy ease. That is going to make that transition into that camera movement a lot softer and therefore more dynamic. Now from here, we need to go ahead and add a text layer to do the character introduction bit. So we'll just close down the subject layer, close down the background layer as well, just to minimize this. Then we'll go up to the T icon on the top of After Effects, select anywhere in the video and just type out your name, your character, your word, whatever you're going to add here. Go into the character window, we'll change the font color, we'll change the size. Do whatever you need to do to this font. And then once you're happy with the look of that text, you just want to drop this in between the subject and the background layer. So this means if I move the text, it's going to move behind myself. So we're just going to go to the very beginning of that freeze frame. We'll go into position. So we'll press P on the keyboard on the text layer. And then we'll just pull the position off screen. So we'll pull that over to the right, create a brand new keyframe on position. And then we'll just go a few frames to the right and we'll drag the position over to the left. And you want to drag that behind your subject and move it over here. Of course, if you wanted to add a bounce, then just move over a few more frames, create a brand new keyframe on the position. We'll move back to that second keyframe and pull the position further to the left. So it's now going to move behind myself and then bounce back like so. Of course, you're more than welcome to add a tagline underneath that. So we'll copy that text layer, command C. We'll go to the lower level. We'll change this to video. I've definitely spelled that wrong. Video creator. We'll change the font size down. Then we'll hover over one of those keyframes. So we'll hover over that last keyframe, select all of the others on position and we'll pull the position down a touch. So this means it should, there you go, it should move everything else down. And then of course, just at the very end, we're gonna create a brand new keyframe on both on position. So select P on the keyboard, create a brand new keyframe on position on both. We'll go a few frames to the right and we'll drag the position over. So if we play this back, you can see the character freezes, the background changes, the foreground moves forward and we get the text appearing behind. Of course, you can also add coloring effects to the subject in the foreground. So as I'm moving forward here, we can go into effects and presets. We'll go into color correction and then you can go ahead and you can add any one of these color correction filters. So I'm gonna drop curves on here. We'll drop that onto the subject layer. We'll create a brand new keyframe at the beginning. We'll move towards the end and we'll also create a, another keyframe. Of course, so you can't just press this stopwatch icon. So just nudge this over a little bit and that will create a brand new keyframe for you. And then we'll go into the middle and you can go ahead and make any adjustments here. Obviously this is horrendous, but if we play this back, you can see that the color of the subject, the color of myself in the foreground is changing. Now, if you wanted to add this as an outline, you just copy this subject layer, so Command C, Command V. We'll delete those curves, so we'll just delete that here. Then we'll press S on the keyboard to load scale. We'll go to this middle one, and we'll just pull the scale down to 104. In fact, we'll pull that down even more. We'll go 101. So as you can see, that's creating some depth here. It's almost creating this effect where it's coming behind. And then once you've added in all of your effects and you've affected all of the layers, all you have to do is select all of your layers. So command A, we'll turn the motion blur on, make sure the motion blur is blue over here. And then when we play this back, you'll notice we've got this really awesome freeze frame character introduction. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.